Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching in advance. I'm gonna do a little quick voiceover now, just letting you know what to expect in this video because I don't know how many of you know, we had a really bad storm in the UK and uh, I actually filmed this, filmed this on the Saturday after the storm, which was on the Friday. And my intro, you can't hear what I'm saying because I did it outside and it was blowing a gale. But in this video, we're gonna do something different. I'm gonna take you to Harvey Nichols, which is kind of slightly across the street from Harrods and there's so much cool stuff to see in there, but we're gonna go and have a look at Fendi, at Dior, have a quick look at Chanel, and I really hope you enjoy watching. These are some of the new bags. How many have you seen these? Which one? My croissant bag. Oh yeah. David's always joking to me about how I like croissant bags, that shape. I'm choosing one of these. I like this one or this one. What do you think? For my keys? Well, you can't see it. Oh, this, this bag they showed us. Well, it's like a card holder, but it's on a strap. And look, oh, look at the baby peekaboos. Oh, they're so cute for an evening if you just want to take a card and a lipstick or something. Oh, and look. Look at them all, their colours. This bag, tiny baby bag. I like those up there. We've decided to come and get some food and we're in the main food uh, kind of area which is here and in each area there's like the grill, sushi bar, fish and chips, all different in each different section. Hey everyone, weird angle I know but there are people behind me and I don't want to get them in the shop but we've come to get something to eat. We couldn't get in here earlier because it's really busy but now there's some space so um, yeah have a look at the menu i'm thinking the thing is we couldn't get in earlier and we're here now and it's like half past three so i don't want to go and eat loads because then dinner time comes along and it's a bit weird um so i'm thinking i might is there a salad i might get a salad or something um Oh, look at that, 130. That's a lot. There you go. What's What's that? Chicken salad. Oh, great, I'll just have that. I was so hungry, I forgot to film the food. But it was really good. I had a chicken Caesar salad, David had the burger, and now, um, now I'm going to have a coffee. I can film the coffee for you. I'll pour the milk it's in better than, It's better than nothing. Okay. Hang on a minute. Ready? Yeah, go. Say when. It looks like a really dark Say coffee, more. actually. Oh my god. This is going to keep me up. Yeah, more. yeah, maybe a little bit, yeah. Say no. Thank you. Oh, that is strong. Whoa. This is some of the new collection. You know, it's like 60s inspired, bright colors, um, shorter length skirts and dresses. I wonder, will I try some of this on? I've seen some of this on um, on the Dior Instagram.
This is nice. This dress. See, the problem is for me in Dior, I've told you before, but everything comes up so short. So when it comes to skirts and dresses, I just can't, um, I can't purchase them. So you'd look at that and you think, oh, you know, that's, that's really quite long. But I'm quite tall, so when I put them on, they're literally like here. Enrique's back. Hey guys. He, I, he hasn't been on the channel in so long. I will be more in the channel. It will be more of more Dior, more, more Dior. fun. Yeah, more in the videos. So Enrique, this is like the new collection. It is. It's inspired by the 60s. It's a lot of uh, color blocking, a lot of vibrant colors. And uh, we have a lot of full deposits. Mm -hmm. So this is what's available at the moment. This is what's um, left. Exactly. But we will receive more uh, pieces. Very exciting, very fun, very yeah. positive and joyful. Love the colors. So, yeah, especially for the summer and spring. Massively. And I've got something that I put deposit down on. And I'm about to see it, which yeah, I cannot absolutely. wait for. I will bring it. Oh, thank you. Look at these beautiful flowers. So Enrique's just gone through to find the jumper. And I love these. But he's also... Oh, I'm using this bag today, by the way, which I haven't used in a while. But he's given us some chocolates there, which I'm about to have one. Uh, some still water. And yeah, just about to see this jumper. Here it is. Were there loads of deposits down for this collection? Yes, they were. Wow. So That's so lovely. Wow. I really like, and this came in a few different colours, but I really like the navy blue. And actually what's lovely is it's quite like a thick knit. See what I mean? And the lovely embroidery. Oh wow. I actually have the pink as well if you want Do to you? see. Yeah, I'll try the, pink. yeah, have a look at that just about to have a look at the pink as well which I didn't put a deposit down on because on the pictures it looked like quite a dark fuchsia pink and I thought I'm more likely gonna wear um, the navy blue and this is kind of like a spring type jumper that I thought would be really nice when it's like that intermediary um, temperature oh that is so bright oh it's pretty isn't it it actually does oh it's that's so nice. Mm -hmm. I might try both. I think is, is this someone else's though? No, this Are is you sure? available. Okay. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. So here we go. I'm going to try on those two. And actually, this is a jumper that I haven't worn in ages. How many of you remember this? This is the pink, which is so nice. I actually like this more than I thought I would. What do you think? It's quite bright and cheerful, quite nice, I think. And this is the navy blue one, which to be honest, although I do like the shade of the pink, I think this is gonna go with so much more, you know, realistically. And also I was thinking in the winter, I would wear like a long sleeve uh, kind of body top underneath this. Oh, it's so tiny. It's so tiny, but so cute and playful. It looks red on the camera, but it's actually like a fuchsia pink, the same color as that. Isn't that so sweet? Can I try it on? Absolutely. Thank you. We're now, uh, we've left Harrods. We're now walking to Harvey Nichols, and I haven't been into Harvey Nichols in like years, I want to say. I'm going to film what I can, and then hopefully it will be, hopefully it will be fun to watch. Thank you. 
Do you want to have a look? Yes. David wants to have a look at uh, shoes. Yeah, I do think it's better in here for men's. I've come to the Balmain section because there's a new Barbie collection out and it's in front of me and if this is your kind of thing I thought you might want to see it. There's also a puffer jacket behind me that I really like. Here goes. So this is the Barbie collection. That's really nice, that uh, cardigan and this dress. Ooh. With the shoulders and um, what was I going to show you oh yeah this I quite like this puffer jacket it looks weird there everything looks weird because of the light but yeah I really like that some of you might recognize this I highly recognize, recommend this bag, it's absolutely gorgeous and if you like the idea of the Bottega one uh, but you don't want to spend that money because that bag is nearly 2000 now, this is like 1050 but um, keep an eye out because I think I'm going to get given a far fetch coupon code that gets you 10% off that, so keep an eye out for that. I do like it in here, it's like such a different vibe and a different layout and it's a lot smaller in Harvey Nichols and I find that the, the because it's smaller and it's not all spread out over like a million different floors, I almost prefer it. You get a better concentration of, of clothing and items in one hit. Love this pink area. It's match and match. Oh my God, I love their shoes. We, my 10%, if I get this 10% off, I'm saying it like I know I'm gonna get it. I might not. Also works on this brand. Do you like this brand? Let me know in the comments. Oh, look at the pink ones. Yeah, basically everyone. If you like this brand, don't buy it full price because you don't have to. They're nice as well. Crazy color. So cool. We're at the top floor in Harvey Nichols. I'm stood under a really weird light. And I feel like it's making me look weird. Anyway, top floor in Harvey Nichols. For any of you who... Okay, so Harvey Nichols on the top floor is like... It, it's food, it's drink, but there's also a place you can eat. And I find it more relaxing in here than in Harrods. Harrods can get quite busy and it's also very expensive to eat in. Harvey Nichols is more it's just a cozy store i'm going to show you around and show you some of the things you can buy and also places you can eat over there that's the bar then here we have where you can buy wine and spirits you can see there more uh, sort of spirits going on there as well and then over here There we have, so they've got different restaurants and bars in here. It's not like it's one. And then over here, this is, um, this restaurant over here is my favorite. Shortbreads, things like that. This restaurant over here is my favorite and it is burger and lobster. And I've eaten in there before with David and it's such good food. You can even get things, it's like a grocery store. You can even get your supplements. There's chocolates, and it's all, look at that tiny trolley. It's all kind of just nice, sweet things. Things that you can't necessarily find elsewhere. And it's not as big and vast as Harrods is. 
and there's nothing wrong with that there is a place a time and a place for that but if you just want to come somewhere a bit more cozy not so overwhelming this is it do you know easter is my favorite time of the year spring start of spring like oh look at those these look like paper mache uh, egg shaped boxes you've got small ones there larger ones there Hi everyone, please excuse my appearance. I'm going to clean the house after this. But before cleaning the house, I thought I'm gonna pop on, chat to you all and show you the things that I've purchased uh, in that vlog that you saw. And I'm gonna start with some skincare, which I actually bought this in Harvey Nichols. And a lot of it's not for me, a lot of it actually is for David. He's gonna kill me for saying this, but his skincare routine is that, I'm not joking, he washes his face in the shower with shampoo, and then he uses the Body Shop Body Butter as his moisturizer. And I don't even know how he has skin left on his face, but he is now saying to me, oh, you know, my skin's feeling a bit dry. And I said to him, well, it's probably the shampoo that you're using. So we went to Kiehl's. I really like this brand, actually. Their stuff's really good. And um, he basically chose a serum and it was so sweet. He was like, what is a serum? How does that work? Do I use it every day? And I was kind of like, oh, you put it on and then it sinks in and then you put your moisturizer over the top. It's really funny, but you know, um, just with my husband, because he isn't into skincare, it's, it really opened his eyes to it. It was really fun actually watching him kind of get into it. So he got this, which is the Age Defender Power Serum, which is a visibly firming treatment for men. So it's kind of like lifting, but it moisturizes. And he also got the face cream to go with it. And we got to try together actually this particular retinol serum that they have and I used it for the first time last night. I think from what I understand with retinol it takes about six, is it six weeks to actually see any even effects if you're going to get any. But anyway, we got that. And we got like a whole bunch of samples. I do love that about Kiehl's as well. You get so many samples and it's a great way of trying things and then deciding if it's good for you or not. The next thing is from Fendi. And have a look at this bag. How, what do you all think of this bag? This is new out. And I, I saw it in Fendi, but it was on its side. So all I saw was the big logo across the bottom. And at first, from far away, it looked like a waist belt or something. Then when I got up close to it, and it's a shoulder bag, I really like it. And not only that, but in this day and age of all bags costing a fortune, I was surprised at the price because the bag's actually a pretty big bag. Um, not like overly large, but it's 1,600 and something pounds. And um, that's that's Saleron money. So, and I was quite surprised about that. But let me know what you think about that bag. The only thing I think with it is it's not a classic, whereas the baguette bag or even the peekaboo is a classic, but I do like the new bag, but when I was there, this caught my eye, wrapped so nicely. And I got this with the help of David because something so exciting is happening in a couple of months time. And I, I can't say what it is yet. I can't stand it when people do that. Something really amazing is happening, but I can't tell you what it is, but I actually can't, but it's to do with my car. And I don't want to say anything because I don't want to jinx it, but uh, I saw this and it kind of, goes with what I'm going to tell you in a few months time and it's this small it's actually not a wallet I'm going to use it to keep my keys in and it's got a loop on the back so you can hook it onto a bag and then on the inside you can um so you can either wear it on a bag or check this out comes with a chain and the chain lets you wear it cross body and actually the drop length on the chain is quite good so it's kind of like below below my or on my waist. You could get these in different colours. You could get them, and the prices varied slightly. If you got the Zucca print in the fabric, it was a bit less. This was five fifty, um, but yeah, some of them are more expensive. Some of them are less. But this, I'm not going to use this until 
what I'm telling you about has happened. And I'll tell you about that in the future. And then the final thing is from Dior. I badly wanted to show you the bags in Dior, but it turns out a lot of them from the new collection haven't arrived yet. And also, that new collection, did you see? There was not much left. Apparently that was because so many people put deposits down that a lot of the stuff sold out before it even went on the shop floor. And I got really lucky because that the jumper, which I bought, the jumper was one of those items that sold out except for in the pink so you could get this in navy blue cream or pink i did like the pink i just thought it was too much and here is the jumper and you saw me try it on i'll quickly show you it again here if you're looking at this and you like it it was um how much was it i think it was like 1400 pounds and um i don't know what colors might be left i would say if you kind of like the idea of it um go to a boutique or phone up or something and just see if they've got any left. Because I'm thinking, I know in the navy blue and in the cream in Harrods, they didn't have any left, but in that really pretty fuchsia color, they had that one left. So that is everything. Massive thank you to all of you for watching. You know, I always really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next video.